JBN will keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones. Hi, guys. Before we get into the news, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the news with someone today. Now on to the news. Bartender gunned down in Pembroke Hall. Suspects on the run. The police are seeking three suspects in relation to the murder of a 45-year-old bartender who was gunned down during a daring deal at heist at a bar in Pembroke Hall, Kingston, on Tuesday afternoon. Julian Brown, a businesswoman of Spanish Town, St. Catherine, was shot and killed at her business establishment on Chicuna Avenue in Pembroke Hall in the parish. Reports from Edwinny Park Police are that about 1.40 p.m. Brown was inside her bar when three men approached her and demanded money. When their demands were not met, one of the men opened gunfire at Brown before they escaped in the area. The police were summoned and Brown was taken to hospital where she was pronounced dead. Anecdotal reports are that Brown named her killer before she succumbed to her injuries. The perpetrators reportedly destroyed surveillance footage in the bar during the heist. Sources indicate that the police are following strong leads in relation to the murder. The police have a suspect, a local man who comes from the Pembroke Hall area. He was the one who brought the two guys with him. So the police are aware that he was involved and are seeking him now, the source said. Suspect in series of St. Elizabeth armed robberies charge, a man alleged to be one of the main figures. In a series of armed robberies in St. Elizabeth has been charged by the St. Elizabeth police. 37-year-old bar operator Leo Foster has been stopped with a long list of charges, including possession of a prohibited weapon, three counts of robbery with aggravation, using a firearm to commit a felony and unlawful wounding. He was arrested last Friday during a major police operation in Grossmond District. One of the robbers was fatally shot in that incident and several stolen items were recovered. Deputy Superintendent Coolidge Minto, acting head of the St. Elizabeth Police. Deputy Superintendent Coolidge Minto, acting head of the St. Elizabeth Police, says Foster was featured in a robbery which took place on March 27 at Dolly's HQ, located along Lambeth Road in Goshen. A video showed six men armed with rifles and handguns inside the establishment. The men left with an undetermined sum of cash, cell phones, as well as poker boxes. This we meant to say investigations are still in progress to locate the other persons involved in the robbery. He says Foster is being investigated for other serious crimes in St. Elizabeth. The police said an 18-year-old woman was arrested during the April 12 operation has been released. Intelligence led the police to the Grossmont property, which they said was being used by men responsible for a series of armed robberies across the parish. Runaway businessman held in Panama slapped with fraud charges. A St. Catherine businessman who fled the island after failing to import and deliver two vehicles he was compensated for has been arrested and charged by the police. He has been identified as 52-year-old Elvis Jones of Elsha Avenue, Portmore in St. Catherine. Jones was caught in Panama and deported to Jamaica on Saturday. He has been charged with fraudulent conversion, failing to issue receipt, and non-delivery of goods or service on contracted date. According to police reports, a man and a woman entered into separate agreements with Jones in March 2022 to have a 2016 Subaru Impreza motor car and in August 2022 to have a 2013 Toyota Alford minivan imported from Japan, respectively. They reportedly made the agreed payments with promises that the vehicles would be delivered within four weeks. A report was made to the police after the vehicles were not delivered as promised and an investigation was launched. The police said investigations revealed that Jones had fled the island. He was subsequently placed on Interpol Red Notice for wanted persons and later held in Panama. Jones was charged on April 15 after a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. He is scheduled to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Friday. From a charge, after allegedly shooting a couple during an argument, a farmer who allegedly shot at a couple during an argument on his property in Porter's Mountain District, Westmoreland, has been charged by the police. Charged with two counts of shooting with intent, using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony and the possession of a prohibited weapon, is 68-year-old Keith Spence, otherwise called Trash. Reports are that on Friday, about 7 p.m., Spence and a couple was arguing at his home when he told them to leave. The couple reported made their way outside and stood on the roadway when Spence brandished a handgun and opened gunfire at them. They ran and escaped without injuries, the police said. A report was made to the police and on Sunday, Spence surrendered to officers. He was charged on Monday. 
Oman son severed during domestic dispute with Charles Dad. A 21 year old mother is hospitalized in serious condition after a child's father is alleged to have completely severed her hand during a domestic dispute in Petersfield, Westmoreland, on the weekend. It is understood that the female, who resides in Shrewsbury in the parish, was physically assaulted during the brawl that transpired in front of the Petersfield High School at 5 p.m. Reports from the police on that both parties had a domestic dispute where the suspect confronted the complainant and used the machete to chop off her right hand, completely severing it. He also reportedly snapped her several times on her head and other parts of her body. The complainant was rushed to hospital, which was admitted in a serious condition. Investigations are ongoing. Police find AK-47 in Hanover. An AK-47 rifle with a magazine containing nine 7.62 rounds of ammunition was seized on an operation in Montpelier, Sandy Bay in Hanover, on Tuesday, the police say. According to reports, about 3.48 p.m., a team of officers were in the area when the weapon was seized. No one is taken into custody in relation to this seizure. The JSF is also reporting that two people, including a woman, have been arrested by the police after a gun was reportedly found at the premises occupied by them during a St. Catherine operation on Tuesday. Their identities are being withheld pending further investigations. Reports of that about 10.40 a.m., lawmen were in the area when a premises that was occupied by the two was searched. During the search, one Glock 22 pistol with a magazine containing nine, nine millimeter rounds of ammunition was found in their possession, the police said. They were subsequently taken into custody. Cops retrieve stolen 800 pound bull in St. Elizabeth to in custody. The St. Elizabeth police have arrested two people who reportedly stole an 800 pound bull from its own attached field in the parish last weekend. Reports of that on Saturday, the bull was stolen and the police alerted with swift action. The truck in which the bull was reportedly being transported was intercepted by the police and the animal returned to its owner. The police said that the identities of the two people who were arrested are being withheld as they are searching for another individual who they believe is directly involved in the larceny of the bull. Dog attack leads to deadly St. Andrew motorcycle crash. A freak accident on Tuesday evening claimed the life of a motorcyclist and resulted in the injury of his common-law partner after the bike was attacked by dogs, causing him to crash into an oncoming vehicle. The incident occurred along the Rock to Mount Zion Main Road in St. Andrew. Dead is 29-year-old bearer Shane Gordon, otherwise called Struggle. It is understood that the injured woman is hospitalized and regained consciousness this morning. Information received is that Gordon who resides at Parks Road, was on his way home. When on reaching a section of the roadway, the dogs reportedly rushed at his motorcycle. He reportedly attempted to swerve from the charging dogs and collided with the oncoming vehicle. Gordon reportedly died at the scene. His partner was assisted to a medical facility. A resident from the community said that the dogs are known to rush at people. Right, they have enough dogs, and them always are run upon people. They one of them need to take charge in securing the animals. Me as one of the dogs dead because the bike tear one of them head, the resident said. Steerton Academy principal and teacher to step down over CXC exam paper leak. Principal of Steerton Academy in St. Anne, Sean Mangal, and exam coordinator, Andre Isho, are to step down from their post following a probe into a massive Caribbean examinations council, CXC examination fraud at the school. Members of the school board last night voted to have both educators removed from the institution following a disciplinary hearing. Another teacher who was implicated in the cheating scandal is to be demoted. Travis Ishul was the head of the science and hospitality department, as well as the grade 10 supervisor. Mangal declined to make any comments when contacted. They threw her phone guilty in a scheme, which involved the leaking of examination papers to several students in the 2022 May to June sitting of the CXC and the institution. Their fates were decided by the board after the Overseas Examination Commission carried out an investigation and made a report of irregularities in the examination and recommended disciplinary action. Several charges, including neglect of duty, were laid against the teachers. One of the main witnesses in the matter had reportedly observed students making corrections to their examination papers after the examination. The witnesses also reported to have presented recordings at the hearing of one of the guilty party calling her and asking her not to share any information with the investigators, as well as voice notes asking students to bring in the examination papers. 
pictures of the exam papers that the witness had received the day before the exams were also presented. In the meantime, reports have surfaced that parents have been rallied by a former president of the Parents Teachers Association to protest the principal's removal. However, a source close to the development said the parents are in the dark about the examination fraud that occurred at the school. On May 22 last year, Brian Bennett Easy, chairman of the Overseas Examination Commission, wrote to the chairman of the school board of the school and the Ministry of Education officials referring to reports received of widespread irregularities at that centre. Some of the allegations were that some candidates had access to live question papers ahead of the examination and were allegedly coached by their teachers before they sat the examinations. Some students were allegedly able to amend their scripts with the assistance of their teachers after the papers were administered. The performance in maths, especially, was at a very high standard and was not in keeping with previous year's performance. Some of the same candidates who sat City and Gills maths did poorly, but excelled in CSEC maths, barely outlined in the letter. Investigations were carried out into the report, and subsequently, the three educators had disciplinary charges laid against them. They were also accused of failing to store the June 2022 examination papers in the fireproof cabinet supplied to the school by the Overseas Examination Council. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.